Jonah's Witnesses. Oh, hi. Um, my name is Christine. I just had a quick question I was wondering if someone could help me with. Oh, okay. Um, do you have a minute? Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, I really like um, learning about different religions, so I was looking into the history of the Jehovah's Witnesses, and I just wanted to ask you about um, this one thing I found um, in an older watch shower. It's about um, the books of Charles Taze Russell, like how they viewed them. Um, could I just read it to you? It's it's not long or anything. Where are you reading it from? Um, the Watchtower, September fifteenth, nineteen ten. Hold on, let me look it up. Oh, you can look up a nineteen ten one. Um, let me see. That's pretty cool. Where where do you find it? I'm going to see if I can find it online. Oh, on their website? Yeah. Website. Oh, no, those only go back to, like, 1950. Oh, okay. There's, like, other sites called archive.org has some, and um, if you just Google it, like, it will probably come up somewhere. People scan them for historical purposes and things like that. Hey, sometimes I was, they... I wasn't, a, I wasn't aware of that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, like there's sites like archive.org that archive, oh, I mean, not just that, but many different things. But don't they sometimes keep them in the library, too, at, at Kingdom Halls? I'm not sure if they yeah, still we, do that. Yeah, we, we sometimes, we sometimes have, have them in our, in our library, yeah. Yeah, they're really interesting to look at. But um, this is what I wanted to ask. I wanted to see what the view is on this now. It's, um, Russell's books were called Studies in the Scriptures. Um, I only completely read the first one, The Divine Plan of the Ages. Um, did you ever see look at them at all? No, I'm not I'm not familiar with, with oh. that book. Oh, okay. Um well this is this is what it says in a watchtower um about his books. Um it says if the six volumes of scripture studies that's the name of his books, are practically the Bible topically arranged with Bible proof texts given we might not improperly name the volumes the Bible in an arranged form. That is to say, they're not merely comments on the Bible, but they're practically the Bible itself. Furthermore, not only do we find that people cannot see the divine plan in studying the Bible itself, but we see also that if anyone lays aside the studies in the scriptures, even after he has read them for 10 years, if he ignores them and goes to the Bible alone, our experience shows that within two years he goes into darkness. On the other hand, if he has merely read the studies in the scriptures and has not even read a page of the Bible as such, he would be in the light at the end of the two years. Do you have a thought on that? Um, so what is the point uh, you're trying to get to? Oh, I, I'm just shocked by it because they say it would be better to read Russell's books than the Bible. You'll, you'll go in darkness if you read just the Bible. Oh, I see. Well, um, we, we actually, our doctrine has changed over the years. And um, we no we no longer view it that way. Hmm. So well, I um, I did. If you look at our if you look at our website uh -huh. on jw dot org, mm -hmm. you can look up the most recent information. Oh, so yeah. they like changed stuff. Yeah, we change it all the time. All the time? Um, we, wow. Yeah. Well, <laughs> that means I, that, um, like, they taught a lot of wrong stuff in the past that needs to no, be changed because, all the time? Yeah, because, because we, um, we believe what, what, what the Bible says where the, where the light uh, is shining brighter every time. So, like, for example, in the past, we used to believe, um, we used to, celebrate Christmas, um, and we would use the 
cross as well. Later on, we found out that those those so every, so when when we investigate the Bible uh, verses, um, we we've, we've been finding out that the things that we thought before were actually wrong. So, um, uh, can I ask you a question about that? Um, when they were teaching those, you know, previous wrong things. Um, did they say it was from Jehovah or just their own thought? Well, well, and actually, the the Bible um, proved us wrong. So that that's kind of that's, that's not what I, that's not what I asked. I asked, did they did they present it as being from Jehovah, or did they present it as just kind of what they thought at the moment? Well, it, it's actually something that we believed at the moment. Um, and did they? But, but I didn't ask if they believed that at the moment. I asked, did they present it as coming from Jehovah? Well, um, yeah, they 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 thought that it was coming from Jehovah. Not that they thought. Did they teach that to everybody that it was from Jehovah? Absolutely, from Jehovah. Well, they never did. We we never could actually um, say definitely from Jehovah unless it's in the Bible. They so, they say it all the time, and I've got two long, long pages of them making that claim historically. Um, Fred Franz said under oath in court that Jehovah was the editor of the Watchtower. They say things, have said things, and still do. No man's no, opinion is expressed. And yes, that was, he did yeah. say that. <laughs> I can well, show you where he said that if you want to look it up. Well, um, if you look up uh, at, our, at our website, mm -hmm. uh, you can see the most current uh, mm -hmm. uh, teachings. Uh, I, I actually did see a video recently where... Um, the man talking in the video, that, that German man, what's his name? Um, one of those governing body. Um, he said that the direction comes from Jehovah to Jesus to them. So that's really yeah, nothing new did, historically. He well, he did say in the annual meeting that it's not, it's not, um, that they're, they're not, um, they're not leaders, but they're co they collaborate with 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 us. They're not so leaders. We're, we're, all e we're all equal. Really, um, really. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah. yeah. He then why do you ha then why do you have to obey the faithful and discreet slave to have Jehovah's so, approval so, yeah, if they're equal? Jehovah's holy holy spirit. Uh, okay. Uses them. Yeah. Then you're and then you're not equal. They they yeah. call themselves God's mouthpiece and God's only channel. So he's just being a little silly there. I think you, you can't really speak out of both sides of your mouth. Maybe it's because in those child sex abuse cases they don't want to take the responsibility of all the times they haven't called the police on on child molesters. So he's saying, well, we don't have any leaders. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But yet what he says is from Jehovah. You know what I mean? And you have to obey the slave to have Jehovah's approval. So you can see how they're well, trying to play you, both you, sides. You, you seem to know a lot. Are, are you, were, you, uh, were you one of Jehovah's Witnesses? No, no. I just like doing research about religion and theology. Oh, okay. um, so anyways. Well, um, that, that, that doctor. That thing you're saying about uh, the child molesters is yeah. actually something that's been changed recently, and um, you know they they're actually supposed to report it to the police. So mm, even uh, very recently, so they didn't in uh, Montana, in Pennsylvania, there was a case, and those are mandatory reporting states. And they didn't. Yeah. And, and the one in Montana. Yeah, they're, they're, they're supposed to report it. Yeah, they're supposed to report yeah, well, they, they, they're not. They, they still don't. So um, that's interesting. Um, so I just wanted to share scripture with you. Um, you know, I know you probably have to go. But in John. Yeah. John our, our, our service meeting. Okay. Service. Okay. In John twenty thirty one, John is talking about why these scriptures are written. It says, but these are written 
so that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that by believing you may have life in his name. So he does not seem to think that you need to get in touch with the faithful slave and that reading scripture will be pointless and that you'll go into darkness without without these men in Brooklyn or in New York, right? And you know in Second Timothy 3 it says that all scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, yes, for is, reproof, that, that the man of God may be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. And they're telling you that scripture, for you to read scripture on your own or in small groups of Christians, will not, you'll be led into darkness without being in touch with the slave or Russell's books. And they still continue to teach that. And that's not even biblical in the Bible itself. So just something to think about there. Yeah, uh, maybe uh, you know we should look up more into 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 our current teachings now and not be too focused in what was thought in the past. Mm. Well, um, in the Bible, you have to do that because the the Bible says to test all things, and in Deuteronomy eighteen twenty through twenty two, it says test those who say they speak for God, and if what they predicted doesn't come to pass. Um, that you shouldn't even fear them. It was actually the death penalty to say something was from Jehovah or the Creator's promise, and then it didn't come true because God really cared about that because it could lead so yeah. many people astray. And, you know, the Watchtower, you could just Google Watchtower false predictions. I mean, you'll be amazed how much stuff comes up. And so it is important to test that. They have called other people false prophets. <laughs> so, but, but, but when you just talk to the average person, that's what they're most famous for, actually, as being an apocalyptic, high-controlling group. Um, that's how other people consider it, uh, for good reason, you know. So may, maybe you should look into the history. Well, um, they don't want you to, I, I notice. I don't feel it that way, but yeah. um, you, you, just, you just have a, a different perspective. Yeah, yeah. It it is kind of risky to look into their history. You 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 will just see so many things they've they've covered oh, over have. now. I already have. Yeah, I I have looked into. History. So you know that they used to teach to worship Jesus until the 1950s. Yes. You do? Yeah. Okay. Yes, How could Jesus yes. have chosen them in that case? Well, um, I I actually don't have time right now. Because okay. I have to be in the meeting. Okay. Hey, thanks for being so nice. Okay. God bless yeah, you. You have a wonderful day. You too. Bye.